G'day guys, uh, Sam Bagger here from the 405th. Um, just wanted to introduce you to the leg of my Ironman build. And just before I start, just wanted to say a big hello and thank you to Robo, Stealth, Halo Goddess and Drac and plenty more who helped me out with advice along the way. Um, just wanted to show you here that the leg, even though it comes with all of these braces, um, and you can see a, a brace along in here, there's a brace down here, uh, there's a brace in the back there, and there's a few more about, but um, what they do is they space it apart and keep it shape. What they don't do is keep it shape when you start resining and the paper starts to get wet, things start to buckle and warp. And what I've found here is that the knee doesn't line up, um, even though it had braces in it when I hardened it. So what I've had to do here is um, do the slush cast on the inside and while it's still soft, um, just clamp it and hopefully when it hardens, um, it'll stay there. If it doesn't, what I've got to do is put in this fiberglass mat, the woven stuff, which is a lot neater and nicer than the chopped strand mat. When I lay that on the inside over the top of the slush cast in there, hopefully when that sets hard, then it won't budge at all. Anyway, in hindsight, what I would have done was tape all this together while it was still in the paper stage, and then we would have had no problems with alignment. So now it's starting to look all right, and I'll let you know how we go. And if you want to see any more, you can go and have a look at Sandbagger's Iron Man build on the 405th. Or I've got it on my own personal website, which is my uh, assignobservatory2.com uh, website. And go and have a look there in the image galleries. And you've got Rainy Day Projects. That's where my Iron Man suit build is. And you can have a look from start to finish, or at least where I'm up to now. Anyway, thanks again to all the guys on the 405th and also the RPF. Cheers, Sandbagger out.